GSM Commander Temperature Expansion. Right, looking at temperature inputs on the GSM Commander base unit, most of you would know you've got access to two analog temperature inputs. And these are very handy and the probes that you stick in there, they go directly into the GSM Commander. It's a, it's a very cost effective solution and it just works. But in some cases that's not going to be good enough. And that is obviously where you may have uh, a need for more than two probes. Or if your temperature range that you are looking at is not within what you can measure with the analog temperature probe. Uh, the analog temperature probes only go down to about minus 17 degrees. What if you wanted to measure minus 25? Then you're screwed. But we've got the temperature expansion available. And what this thing does is it solves the problem. Firstly, it has access to eight inputs so you can connect eight probes directly into this little box and what's more is each of these probes can be up to 50 meters away from this little box and then the range each of those probes has a range of minus 50 to plus 150 degrees celsius so in any of your refrigeration type applications this becomes just the bomb so looking at our temperature expansion in a little bit more detail as you'll see on the front we've got four ports didn't i say something about eight probes yes i did but if you recall i also said something about those probes being digital and one of the advantages of that is we can actually connect two probes to each of these ports the problem then is which one of them was going to be which well if you look at our, pool, at, our, at our sensors, this is what the sensors look like. It's a sort of little metal tube, and you'll see we've got two colors. This one's gold and this one's silver. The silver one also sometimes marked as white as our primary probe, and the gold one sometimes marked as yellow or red is the secondary one. So you can actually take one primary and one secondary and put them both on the same port. So for each of these ports, you've got one primary, one secondary, and two times four equals eight. Imagine that. All right, so here we do have our temperature expansion in our demonstration kit. Uh, we've got it connected via the serial cable that is supplied with the temperature expansion to the serial port on the GSM commander. This is a GC0641. Remember that you cannot connect the temperature expansion to an 0321. It can only be on a GC0641 or a GC1281. And that is because the temperatures are getting populated into variables on the GSM commander. So we've got our two probes, we've got the primary and our secondary and they are both connected to the first port on the temperature expansion. So for the primary we expect the temperature to get populated into variable A on the JSON commander and for the secondary we expect the temperature to get populated into variable B on the JSON commander. So the commander is connected via the USB cable to our software on the PC and I've got some hot water to test here and I've got some cold water. I'm going to put it in the cold water so long and uh, we're probably going to have to test this water is uh, um, yeah, I think it's cold. So, uh, great. Now for the software. Alright, here we have our smart setup software. And as you can see from the top right hand, we are actually connected to our device in the demonstration kit. And this is the status page of the software. And here at the bottom we can see the value of all the variables inside of the GSM commander. Now you can see variable A is getting populated by around 72 and B is actually st showing 69. Now variable A is getting populated by the primary probe on the first port and variable B is getting populated by the secondary probe on the first port. And likewise variable C and D is on the second port, variables E and F on the third port and G and H is on the fourth port. But as you can see they are all zero and that's because we don't have any probes connected to those ports. And the temperature expansion actually only populates those variables for which it actually has probes. Now I showed you that we have, were in cold water and we would surely hope that cold water would be colder than 72 and 68. Now the cold truth, as it were, is that this is actually 7.1 degrees and variable B is sitting at 6.8 degrees. So we are populating the temperature in 0.1 of a degree and that just gives you a little bit more range, a little bit more uh, uh, resolution on your measurement. Um, obviously when you're sending that value as an SMS or whatever, then you can still have a decimal point in there if you specify it that way. One thing to keep in mind is analog scaling here at the top. This tab 
you should not use this don't enable this if you're using the temperature expansion because you don't have an analog expansion you actually have a temperature expansion so don't mess with this if you're using the temperature expansion because bad things will happen so there we go now I'm going to prove my point by taking the probe, let's, let's take the secondary probe, that's the golden one, and I'm going to put that in hot water and we'll, we can see the value going up. Um, there we go, 71, 84, 102, and that's obviously 12.3 and 14.7 and 19, 22, 24, etc. in degrees Celsius. And you'll see variable A is still sitting there at 7 degrees Celsius. So there we go. It's very simple. You cannot use variable A and variable B in your, in your um, smart setup. And you can say if variable A goes above 10.0 degrees, then I want you to do X, Y, and Z. So to summarize. Temperature expansion, 8 ports, minus 50 to plus 150 degrees, 50 meters away, 